Yellowstone National Park is a place where the Earth's inner heat bursts forth in spectacular fashion. Here, beneath the surface, a vast reservoir of molten rock and superheated water fuels one of the most extraordinary landscapes on the planet. Every year, millions of visitors are drawn to Yellowstone's geysers, hot springs, and bubbling mud pots, all powered by the restless energy below. In 2024, the park reminded us of its untamed nature with a series of dramatic hydrothermal explosions, not the supervolcano eruption some headlines suggested. These events captured the world's attention, sparking curiosity and, in some cases, unnecessary alarm. These powerful steam-driven blasts are a fundamental part of what makes Yellowstone unique, offering a direct connection to the geothermal forces beneath our feet. They occur when water trapped underground is rapidly heated, building up pressure until it bursts through the surface in a sudden, explosive release. The year's activity, especially the explosion at Biscuit Basin, provided a real-world science lesson in the park's dynamic hazards. It was a vivid reminder that Yellowstone is constantly changing, shaped by forces we can observe and study in real time. These events weren't signs of impending doom, but rather the park's plumbing system releasing pressure in a dramatic way. Such explosions are natural safety valves, helping to maintain the delicate balance of Yellowstone's geothermal system. Understanding these explosions helps us appreciate Yellowstone safely and dispel persistent myths. By learning the science behind these phenomena, visitors can experience the park's wonders with respect and awe, rather than fear. In this video, we'll break down what happened in 2024, explore the science behind hydrothermal explosions, and separate fact from fiction. We'll also highlight the dedicated scientists who work tirelessly to monitor and understand these powerful natural events. We'll also look at how new technology and expert monitoring keep visitors safe in one of the world's most geologically active places. From advanced sensors to real-time data analysis, these tools are crucial for early warning and public education. This is a story of discovery, not fear, a journey into the heart of a living, breathing landscape. Yellowstone's ongoing activity offers scientists and visitors alike a front-row seat to the dynamic processes that shape our planet. Let's dive into Yellowstone's fiery secrets and uncover the fascinating science behind its dramatic wake-up call. On July 23, 2024, Yellowstone put on a dramatic show near Old Faithful at Biscuit Basin. What started as a seemingly ordinary summer day quickly turned into a rare and unforgettable event that captured the attention of scientists and visitors alike. A violent hydrothermal explosion erupted from Black Diamond Pool, sending a massive column of superheated water, mud, and rocks hundreds of feet into the air. The force of the eruption was so intense that it was heard and felt from a considerable distance, startling wildlife and echoing across the basin. The blast damaged a section of boardwalk and hurled boulders toward the Firehole River. Fortunately, no one was nearby. The aftermath left a stark reminder of nature's unpredictable power, with debris scattered and the landscape temporarily transformed. This wasn't magma on the move, but a sudden release of pressure in the park's underground plumbing. Hydrothermal explosions like this are rare, but they reveal the hidden forces constantly at work beneath Yellowstone's surface. Think of it like a pressure cooker. When the escape route is blocked, pressure builds until it explodes. The underground water, heated by the Earth's energy, becomes trapped and eventually finds a violent way out. Superheated water trapped underground flashes to steam, expanding explosively and blasting debris skyward. The sudden transformation from water to steam creates a force powerful enough to reshape the landscape in seconds. The Biscuit Basin event was a textbook hydrothermal explosion, a powerful, surface-level hazard that can occur with little warning, reminding us of the dynamic environment we're visiting. It's a reminder of the raw energy beneath Yellowstone and why safety barriers are essential. These precautions are in place to protect both visitors and the fragile geothermal features. Respecting the park's rules isn't just smart, it's critical. By staying alert and following guidelines, we can safely experience the wonders of Yellowstone while preserving them for future generations. Months before Biscuit Basin, a quieter but groundbreaking event occurred at Norris Geyser Basin. On April 15, 2024, a small hydrothermal explosion at Porcelain Terrace went unnoticed, until geologists later found a fresh crater. What made this event historic was its detection. For the first time, scientists confirmed a hydrothermal explosion using advanced geophysical data. A new monitoring station, installed just months earlier, 
picked up a unique acoustic and seismic signal, proof of a surface explosion, not an earthquake. This breakthrough marks a new era in tracking Yellowstone's hazards, allowing scientists to catalog and analyze these events with unprecedented precision. Detecting even small explosions helps build a clearer picture of where and how often they occur. The little crater at Norris represents a huge leap in scientific capability. Thanks to new technology, even Yellowstone's whispers are now heard loud and clear. To truly understand the dramatic events that unfolded in Yellowstone in 2024, it's important to distinguish between two very different natural phenomena, hydrothermal explosions and volcanic eruptions. These terms are often confused, but they refer to separate processes with unique causes and effects. Volcanic eruptions are what most people imagine when they think of explosive earth events. They involve molten magma rising from deep within the earth, breaking through the surface, and releasing rivers of lava and towering plumes of ash, like the famous eruptions at Mount St. Helens or in Hawaii. Hydrothermal explosions, on the other hand, are not caused by new magma reaching the surface. Instead, they are steam-driven events, powered by water and heat rather than molten rock. In Yellowstone, the heat source is a massive body of magma far below the ground. But the explosions themselves happen much closer to the surface, when groundwater trapped in underground pockets becomes superheated under intense pressure and then suddenly flashes to steam. Imagine a pressure cooker that's been sealed too tightly. When it finally gives way, the energy released comes from water instantly turning into steam, not from molten rock erupting. These sudden blasts can violently hurl rocks, mud, and debris across the landscape, creating craters and scars. But at their core, they're really a plumbing problem within the Earth's crust, not a sign of deeper volcanic unrest. Small hydrothermal explosions actually happen every year in Yellowstone, often going unnoticed by visitors and even park staff. Larger, more powerful explosions, like the one that created the Biscuit Basin Crater, are rare, but they are a natural and expected part of Yellowstone's dynamic landscape. In fact, hydrothermal explosions are the park's most frequent geological hazard. They're not a warning sign of an impending volcanic eruption, but rather a reminder of the park's restless underground energy. So while these events can be dramatic and even dangerous, they are surface-level, steam-powered phenomena that don't signal a volcanic crisis. Understanding the difference between hydrothermal explosions and volcanic eruptions is essential for appreciating the real risks and the incredible power of Yellowstone's unique geothermal landscape. The 2024 explosions are just the latest in Yellowstone's long history of hydrothermal activity. The park is home to some of the world's largest hydrothermal explosion craters, like Mary Bay, formed by a massive blast 13,000 years ago. More recently, Excelsior Geyser erupted violently in the 1880s, permanently altering the landscape. In 1989, Porkchop Geyser exploded after weeks of unusual activity, throwing rocks over 200 feet. These events show that powerful hydrothermal explosions are a recurring part of Yellowstone's story. The 2024 blasts fit perfectly into this established pattern. They're not anomalies or warnings of something new, but natural processes that have shaped the park for millennia. Studying past explosions helps scientists understand the frequency and scale of these hazards. History reminds us, these explosions are normal for Yellowstone, not a prelude to disaster. Whenever Yellowstone makes headlines, talk of a supervolcano eruption follows. While Yellowstone has produced massive eruptions in the distant past, the 2024 hydrothermal explosions are unrelated to any super-eruption risk. Scientists know exactly what warning signs to look for. Intense, shallow earthquake swarms, massive ground deformation, and dramatic changes in gas emissions. None of these are happening now. The park's current activity is well within normal ranges. The USGS estimates the chance of a super eruption in any given year is about 1 in 730,000, extremely low. Hydrothermal explosions, while exciting, are part of Yellowstone's routine behavior. The real story is about surface steam, not magma on the move. Don't let sensational headlines cloud the science. After the July 2024 explosion, social media buzzed with false claims of a Yellowstone red alert and runaway magma. In reality, the USGS volcano alert level has stayed at green, normal non-eruptive conditions. The alert system is clear. Green means normal, yellow signals unrest, orange means escalating risk, and red is for imminent or ongoing eruptions. 
the 2024 steam explosions didn't come close to changing the alert level. Claims about the magma chamber expanding rapidly are also baseless. Scientists monitor it closely, and current data show only normal slow changes. The recent events were shallow, steam-driven, and unrelated to deep magma. For accurate information, always check the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, not viral videos. Sensational claims generate fear, not facts. The real science? Yellowstone is behaving normally. The detection of the April 2024 explosion at Norris was no accident. It was the result of a major upgrade in Yellowstone's monitoring. Recognizing hydrothermal explosions as the park's most immediate hazard, the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory began installing advanced sensors in active basins. The new stations, like the one at Norris, combine seismometers, infrasound sensors, GPS, and temperature monitors for a complete picture of basin activity. This approach allows scientists to catch even subtle signs of change, potentially leading to short-term warnings for hazardous areas. It's not about predicting super eruptions, but improving day-to-day -day safety for visitors. The expanded network marks a shift to closely watching the park's shallow, dynamic plumbing system. With cutting-edge tools and expert eyes, Yellowstone is one of the world's most closely monitored geological sites. Science and technology are keeping visitors safer than ever. The 2024 hydrothermal explosions are a powerful reminder Yellowstone is beautiful, but it's also dangerous. The geysers and hot springs are fueled by extreme heat and pressure just below the surface. Boardwalks and trails are carefully placed for your safety. Stepping off them is a life-threatening risk. The Biscuit Basin blast showed how quickly conditions can change. Had anyone been nearby, the outcome could have been tragic. Always stay on designated paths, heed closures, and respect warning signs. The new monitoring systems help, but they can't predict every small explosion. Ultimately, your safety depends on your choices. By following the rules, you protect yourself and preserve Yellowstone's wonders for future generations. Yellowstone is a place of awe and science, not impending disaster. Visit with respect, stay on the path, and experience the power of a living planet safely.